Pokemon. This is the final, final Pokemon I'm going to draw for probably a long time, or at least for a couple of weeks. But uh, one more quick update. Uh, if you haven't noticed my introduction, I did something a little different with the intro. And in the last video, I asked if you knew what it was. But basically, I just made it shorter. Uh, I made it about 10 seconds shorter because one of the subscribers said it was kind of long. So, you know, now that I have 100 episodes, I'm kind of starting this new. This It's going to be the same, but I'm going to keep the newer episodes like... 101 to whatever it goes into. I'm going to keep it the same format, but if you can, please, please leave me feedback in the comments if maybe you want a different introduction, like just anything. Maybe you want me to put the finished result at the end, just anything you want. Uh, and one more thing, I'm going to be putting the, the end card, and I'm going to have a little end in drawn up. And one more thing, if you haven't che checked it out, check out the giveaway. I'm going to have it one more week, and then I'm going to randomly select the winners and start mailing the prizes out, so it's on the million view video, so let's let's do this, Mewtwo time, I'm so excited about this one, Mewtwo is awesome, the ultimate Pokemon, so to start I'm using a B pencil again, and my best advice is start with shapes with this one, because it's kind of, kind of a human form, so it's better to get the basic shapes, and so what I'm going to do is here, I'm just going to I'm going to move this. I'm just going to start with the head shape. I'm going to make them looking towards the right. So just real simple. Kind of small little circle shape. And then about Mewtwo is his head shape. And you know, I'm just making the nose mark. His head shape, like I was saying, uh, Compared to the rest of the body, is pretty small. I know how, like like with Squirtle, I just drew his head shapes a little more than half. With him, you know, his body's tall and stout, so you want to make sure you capture that. So I'll make his head looking that way, then have his body coming in this way. So I'm going to draw another. I'm going to keep it simple and have this kind of this pear shape, but his body. Kind of look, start with this real simple shape. That's the best thing I could tell you. Start with this shape. You kind of have the upper torso here, and you have the lower body mass. And then his neck would be here. And then basically the arm. I'm going to draw a little circle for the arm, and then he's got this mass overlapping. Then the arm comes out. And I'm also trying to do a different pose. I'm trying to make it up while I go, but also looking at a reference of what he looks like. But uh, the reason is because if you search Mewtwo now, you find videos that are basically three of them wear the exact same pose. So I really didn't want to do that with the pose. Then just the hand. And then we're going to cut this off, put a big circle here, one here, and one here for the hand kind of four short and coming towards you. So it doesn't look like much now, but we're still fleshing out here. Uh, make sure you have basic shapes. Then let's start with the head. The head shape, he's got this kind of jaw, where, jaw that comes down and comes up, kind of like a mouse almost. Then it curves back in. And make sure you follow these lines and then comes up and you really don't see the eye on this side and then curves like that again and basically this curves up just follow these lines then he has that ear shape I'm going to make this a little sketchier than I normally do just because I really feel like the character is so awesome and rough and so just keeping a little different and put this one here. So now you got that basic head shape. Little dot here for the nose. Little mouth here. And then remember in the back, 
he's got that part that connects from the back of his head to the back of his trapezius muscles. So for the muscle here, it wraps over this. So this is going to come over. And ultimately, it looks like like a normal bicep or pectoral muscle. I'm sorry. And it comes down and it comes here. And so make a line about right there. And I'm kind of making it my own, but I'm also looking at reference once again. But it, see how it dips in? It's almost a W shape right there. Then comes back, and then this is going to overlap and cover, much like the deltoid of a human's muscle overlaps. So it's like I said, it's got a lot of human-like qualities to this figure. That's why I think I'm really excited about drawing this one because, you know, I love to draw human anatomy muscles and dynamic stuff. So now that you got that, let's flesh out the rest. And, you know, if you t the biggest tip I have when you're drawing, if you do it step by step, instead of thinking when is it going to be finished or look at the whole picture, you'll be surprised at what you'll draw. And that's a huge tip, you know, because... I always surprise myself too at what I'm able to do when I try not to get overwhelmed but just break it down to basic fundamental shapes. So then for the body, we'll get the body first. For this you have a leg. So leg shape is almost like this turkey. Almost like a turkey. I don't know why. Just So it's going to come down real smooth muscle here and just come down like that and then right here you have this little circle shape you can make it more pronounced you know where the tail connects the purple tail and that's going to come up just like that and for this one if you notice I'm sticking with the B pencil the whole time uh, mainly because I, I love the way it's feeling right now and you know, I don't want to switch to mechanical being that this is so good. So you got that. And then kind of where it connects. Actually the leg, raise it up a little more. The leg muscle attaches above that little circle. So right about here. You know, make it, like I always said, all the videos I do. Kind of add your own style. Basically what I'm showing you, I'm guiding you how to draw it. But I'm also teaching you how to get basic forms. So, you know, so you can copy the images, but also to make sure you do your own thing too while you're drawing. And for this side, same thing. The leg's going to come out right there. That's going to curve. He's got that ball for the heel, so just a ball shape. We'll save the feet for last. Remember, we have a ball on that side. And just a real simple, another ball shape. I like drawing feet a lot. I really have fun. And then on this side, see how I'm just making a curve? This is why it's important. Uh, that you kind of, that's why it's kind of important to have a basic, basic understanding of anatomy because you know you can see these feet, uh, at least not so much this one, but the other one basically has a very human like shape. And that's why it really is important though to have at least uh, some construction because you can look at references and things, but. So now you got that, then the tail is going to come off to the right. So you can make, we'll save the tail for last, but for this hand, basically three huge circles. And this is going to be a foreshortened hand. And so it's like the fingers are coming out towards you. And you can see I'm just kind of making as I go, being that's not a human hand, it's going to look more like this, kind of have these lines. But you can see, so it's like, coming out towards you. Let me see how this... I don't know if I'm too crazy. I have a, I'm not the best when it comes to foreshortening. But I'm, so 
I just I just erased the hand. Uh, not too wild about how it was going. What I would recommend doing for foreshortening, make sure this is a very big piece. I made it too small. That's why it didn't look right. Normally, if you're drawing a hand coming towards you or any object, you have to think of it in comparison of the head. So if you look at your hand, if you put your hand on your face, it takes up your whole face. But if you're drawing in a picture, it doesn't look that big. But basically, if you bring it closer to, towards you, it's going to be bigger than your head. So see how big the head is? I'm going to make this not as big as it, but it's a little bigger. I'm just going to make a circle here. Circle here. So there's three shapes, one here and one here. So now it looks a lot better, it's a lot bigger. So for this circle, it's kind of just going to have this alien-like shape in that. There's three shapes, then you can go ahead and kind of erase those guidelines I made. But try to follow that and try to keep that in mind with foreshortening. Like like I said, I'm not going to lie, I am terrible when it comes to doing realistic hands foreshortened. Uh, but the best way to remember is just how big it is compared to other things. And then of course there's an illusion where you start to put value. Like see I'm just shading that automatically makes things pop out and looks more 3D. So let's finish me two up here. Almost done with this arm. I'll put paper so I don't. That way I just don't smear it. So take this. And you can see how skinny the arm is. That comes down. I'm making a little more anatomical here. You got the thumb. Basically, sketch the hand out. Hand's going to be another circle. And you got another finger here. There's two circle shapes. You can see what I did. So it looks kind of like that for the other hand. So, real simple shapes. And finally, for the eyes. I think the best way, well, let's do the tail. So the tail would wrap around, and you can make it how you want, but just remember it gets slender towards the end. That's a big thing. It gets slender towards the end and then it bulges out. So make sure it's coming out skinny. And it's got that tip on it, almost like a tadpole. It just kind of curves. It ends in like, not really a point, but it just ends in a soft curve. So I'm just darkening that in. So you got that. So ultimately then, just draw the eyes. Eyes like the other. He's got this real big eye. Takes up majority of the face and just comes in like that. Downward arch. And a line here. And a little, little tiny eyeball within it. It's got a little glare. And pupil. And another curve here. And basically that's your eye shape. And you can make a couple little hatches, then on the other side, you won't see that eye, but you can make the mark. And also, you know, that's how you draw me, so I made the neck a little longer. You can fix things up and make the head a little lower down. See the mouth here. Well, that's it's good to just come back in, erase all your guidelines. I hope you learned something. I hope that helped everyone. 
And next up, I'm not sure what I'm going to do next. It's been weird because I've been getting on this Pokemon groove. They make a line across the chest here. A couple of hatches. There you know you can define it better. Add a couple of muscles. Now that way it doesn't look so simple. Back in here you have a couple of lines. And for the tail it's purple. So you just want to come back in and shade all this. Just like that. There you go. Blend it all in. And just fix it up as you feel fit. Uh, ah, fun to This one was fun to try out. A little more of the mouth here. More defined on the nostril and the earmarks. I'll make it go back a little more. And you can shade this in. That's about it.